Hi guys, my name is Melissa and welcome to my new channel. If you want to see how I redo these old Hey Dudes of my husband's today, then make sure that you keep watching. I'm also going to give a little quick update on the last pair of DIY Hey Dudes. If you guys are here because you saw that video, they are the patriotic painted men's Hey Dudes. Um, and I'm going to show you how those are holding up after it's been over half a year now of him wearing them. Um, today, these ones are going to be doing some more painting and some patches. We do iron on, we do hot glue, we do sewing, all sorts of different stuff. And you can try the, all the different techniques with any types of Hey Dudes and fit them to your own specific style. These ones I also made some laces for. I think they're perfect for Father's Day or for just a really naturey, outdoorsy guy. And if you guys want to see how I made these, then make sure to keep watching. And also make sure to come back because I have two more Hey Dude videos already coming right now. I'm making them right now. I'm doing a tie-dye. I'm doing another painting one. And I'm super excited about them. So if you guys want to see how the next ones turn out, make sure that you come subscribe to my channel. It's new. I'm still learning, but I'm having a lot of fun. And I'm going to do lots more Hey Dude. Hey Dude. DIYs, lots of shoe DIYs, clothes DIYs, tie-dyeing, tons of stuff coming up. So make sure that you're subscribed and welcome to my channel again. And okay, I'm going to stop talking and enjoy my video. I'm just getting the clean. <laughs> so first of all, if you guys saw my first DIY Hey Dudes video, I made these patriotic Hey Dudes out of a white pair. They're like sold out everywhere and um I just used acrylic paint and they are holding up really really well. If you want to see that video, go ahead and watch that one first. I'll try to link it in the comment area below. I haven't tried washing them in the washing machine yet and he has like worn these things like crazy. Uh, they went to the beach with us. They've been through the snow and none of the paint's coming off. He always smashes the back of them down and even the paint it looks a little bit faded there where it's been smashed down, but it's really holding up. So um, I've also painted a whole bunch of clothes with acrylic paint also, and I've washed it in the washing machine. I just wash it on cold, and I don't put fabric softener in the washing machine, and then I hang it to dry. So I think that these will be just fine. All of my clothes that I've done in the past have held up really nicely. But for today's video, I am going to share how I'm deciding what I want to do with the next pair of DIY Hey Dudes for my husband. And what I, I can, I'm being really indecisive. I want to try doing iron-on patches this time. I love iron-on patches. I've used them for tons of things before. And I'm, I'm buying him a new pair online. This is just an old pair I'm using for measurements. And also, if you guys haven't heard of this trick for your Hey Dudes, you can take out this little liner, which you can buy these liners if you want to just get new ones online. But if you get these little socks, you can just put the sock around the liner and then he wears them without any socks and you can switch the sock out when it gets dirty and I don't know, I think it's just a really good little hack. I need to probably wash those ones. <laughs> so if you have stores close by you, you can totally just go to like a Michaels or a Joanne Fabrics and look at different types of iron-on or sew-on patches. Um, I didn't feel like going anywhere today. There's a little blizzard happening in Minnesota, so I decided I was going to look on Amazon. And the patches that I really like and I want to try, I just measured out what size the patches were, and then I used little sticky note tablets, and then I measured out the size of the patches that I'm looking at and that I like the most on Amazon and I just cut them and then I'm able to stick them on the shoes and see if they will fit and where I think I'll like the patches and just kind of visualize before I go spend the money even though like most things on Amazon Prime I can return but it just makes my life a little bit easier to visualize what it's going to look like doing it this way. I hope this helps you guys. If you want to try making something similar at home, you can of course use any different types of patches and colors of shoes. So now I just have to decide on my color scheme and I'm going to order everything up and I'll be back to finish this video once it all comes in the mail. I decided I'm going to do two different pairs of Hey Dude shoes and this is just a really old worn out pair of my husband's and I am going to try to clean them up, fix them up, and add some stuff to them to make them new again. 
I think I'm just going to throw away these little pads and buy some new ones. They're pretty worn out and gross. Otherwise, I could just do the little sock trick with these and totally cover them up. And I'm going to see if I can even clean it. I don't know if that's possible. But I'm going to go throw these in the wash and then we'll get to fixing them up. Alright, so I decided I'm going to try to clean these things. I'm just going to put a tiny drop of laundry detergent in some water. That's probably even more than I needed. And this old sponge I'm going to be throwing away. And I'm just going to basically take the sponge with a little bit of very diluted soapy water and just try to scrub at them. People were saying that you can wash them in the washing machine and of course buy new ones. I thought you could buy them on Amazon, but now that I looked, I think you have to get them from the Hey Dude website. So let's see if we can clean these up a little bit. So it didn't work as well as I had hoped, but at least I got them pretty scrubbed down and then I'm going to add a little bit of this shoe puree. If you guys have not heard of this before, it's pretty awesome. I like to put it on my kids' shoes when they get home from school and have stinky feet. Just spray it on and then let it air dry. I did rinse these really well in the sink and they are wet but they're holding up just fine so I'm hoping that if I just kind of lay these outside they can air dry and then this will also help with any odors they might have had. And honestly, I didn't notice any, but they just look old and stained pretty much. <laughs> and we're going to cover them up with socks anyways. Okay, so I tried washing these in the washing machine, and I can still see a lot of stains on them. I don't know if those are grease stains. Maybe they'll never come out. He literally does everything in these. He works in them. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get the stains out by using OxyClean. If you guys have never used it before, it is so amazing. So I'm basically just going to soak these for about six hours. Just fill the little scooper up for each gallon of water between two and four and make sure that you dissolve it completely before you put in your clothes or shoes in this case. I have got so many stains out with this stuff in the past. Um, kids playing outside and just staining all their clothes. We've gone through a lot of hand-me-downs and I've been able to get all my stains out pretty much with this stuff. Really, really old stains too, so it's definitely worth a try if you guys have never tried this before. After letting these soak for about 24 hours in the OxyClean, the white rubber part of the shoe definitely got way cleaner and I feel like this part did as well, but there's just so many stains on these shoes, which is a bummer. I'm pretty sure it's grease stains because he was working on cars in these. <laughs> but I don't care because they're just kind of like a beachy look type of shoe anyways, so I'm just going to roll with it and I'm still going to try to decorate these up a little bit and make them fun and new. These came a little bit cleaner also, but alright, let's get started. These are the patches that I bought on Amazon. This is like a tactical fishing walleye patch, which is his favorite type of fish. And this is obviously a whole bunch of little flags. You can get these with silver around and black around them as well. There's a whole bunch of different ones to choose from and they're the perfect size for the side of the Hey Dudes. And these ones are iron-on, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to do the iron-on on a shoe in just a second. And I was really bummed when this came in because I didn't realize that it was a Velcro patch. And I could totally, if I wanted to, add the other side of a Velcro that you could pick up at a craft store or at Menards. And you could switch these out with all sorts of different velcro patches and make them match your outfit if you wanted to do it that way but for mine i just wanted to do just this i wanted it to not be able to be removed so i am actually going to use hot glue i know it sounds funny you guys but trust me i've used hot glue on a lot of things before i will show you how they held up and it worked way better than you would suspect i just wanted to quickly show you guys this chair because 
it's a little dirty, but about seven and a half years ago, I reupholstered this all with hot glue, and I'll show you how it's holding up. This is the back of the cushion. It's literally, as you can see, I did it really messily, but I hot glued underneath all of this, and then I just made sure to get right around the edges, and I can do some sewing. I just chose not to and this thing has been holding up so well like I said for nearing eight years now and all of it is just we've been sitting on it and rocking on it and it's never once came apart so it's totally workable I don't know about how it will do if I ever you know have to throw the th throw the hey dudes into the washing machine but definitely works and we're also going to be reinforcing the hey dudes with sewing the corners down as well so that'll help hold it all together but i just wanted to let you know hot glue works really good on material as well i'm also going to do a little bit of sewing just to make sure that it's really on there since it's a shoe and my husband is really hard on his shoes so i'm going to show you how i go about doing that all of that now after i get these on i am going to possibly do some painting on them as well so stay tuned if you want to see how these turn out. To get the laces in, put a piece of scotch tape around the tip. It works out really well. If you guys are curious, this is how you do the easy sock hack. You basically just take a sock that's shaped like this and put it upside down. Just like that. And they fit perfectly right back inside of the shoe. Sorry, I don't have any brand new socks to make it look pretty. Now you can wear them barefoot if you want. Make sure that whatever one you decide to use, you read the directions for that specific type of pat. I added a sock inside of here to make sure that I don't burn myself and I have a good easy surface to use. Position the patch wherever you want it and you add 
a piece of cotton cloth over and then you hold the iron on for 30 to 40 seconds and then you can also do it from the other side. This little iron is perfect for doing craft projects like this and I think it was like $10 at Walmart. <laughs> careful when you do this because this rubber definitely could melt if you leave too hot of an iron on there. So now I'm going to, as you can see, it's not all the way stuck on. I'm going to flip the shoe this way and iron the inside part. To let you guys know, I did have to reinforce the flag patches with sewing the four corners down. I just want to, I don't know, they weren't sticking very well, and I've never had a patch do that before, so I don't know if it was because the Hey Dudes are so much thicker than t-shirts, which is what I normally put patches on, or if it is just those specific patches from Amazon, I'm not really sure. It seemed like there was like a sticky center, but then the whole sides were still up. So I'm not exactly sure what happened, but I did want to just let you guys know I put a little bit of hot glue in the center areas that weren't stuck down, and then I also sewed the four corners down as well. So I think it's just a good idea anyways, because like I said, he likes to smash the back side of his Hey Dudes down, and that's right where that back patch is so i think it's just a good idea that they won't be able to go anywhere because they'll also be sewed on So these are the final Hey Dude project. What do you guys think of them? I absolutely love how they turned out. I hope that my husband loves them as much as I do. I think they look so summery. They'd be perfect for something like Father's Day or, you know, your husband's birthday or boyfriend or whoever. And um, I love how the trees turned out so much. I think they're the coolest thing ever. I want to totally make some for myself and use the little trees and also put a little crescent moon up there. I think that would be the coolest thing ever. And I just, I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm so proud of these ones. I mean, it kind of covered up the stains at, that these shoes had on them. I thought about putting them on this side too, but I just decided to kind of leave it all on the outside part of the shoe. So let me know if you guys are going to make these or something like these. And if you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments down below. And please come back because I have 
of a whole bunch more Hey Dude videos. For sure too, I'm in the process of making right now. So if you wanna see Hey Dude DIYs coming up, I'm gonna do some girl tie-dye ones, girly rainbow tie-dye probably. I'm not sure what colors I'm gonna use yet. And also some other fun ones for my husband again. So make sure you come back and subscribe and like this video if you liked it. And I hope we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> come see your surprise. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> it's under the blankie. <laughs> What'd you get me, Mel? <laughs> I don't know yet. I don't know. I'm scared. I'm scared. Is it going to be a lizard? <laughs> Do you like that? <laughs> Listen, bro. <laughs> You got me a new pair of fishing shoes. Yeah. Backwoods, walleye slaying, American boy. Wait, American boy. Do you like them? Listen to these things. Hold on, hold on. Let me, <laughs> let me try them on. Let me try them on. Gotta oh, take yeah. the socks off. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hold on, how do they look? How do you like them? How do you like these bad boys? What's up with the twine? Do you like it? I made those laces. I feel like it can go anywhere with these. Turn to the side. Fashion, fashion. Oh, they look so cute. I love them. What do you think? I think, uh, <laughs> do you why like didn't you get these stains out, though? <laughs> What happened there? I tried. You know what? I don't care. These are awesome. <laughs> How did you do these things? Did you staple little trees on or what? Those are painted. Damn, you painted that chisel on there, buddy. You! Nice. These are great, Good. actually. I'm glad you like it. You know, I know a couple fishing buddies I got up north. Oh, yeah. They're going to be jealous. <laughs> They're going to be like, hey, smell. Make me a pair of them, hey, dudes. Probably. <laughs> these are awesome. I gotta send a picture of these to, to my boys. They can be so <laughs> jealous. I love these things. Yay. All right, Mel. Well, I'll just give you a. So far, you're two for two. Yay! <laughs> two for two, you 20 for 20. One more coming. One more. Yeah, a new pair, not an old pair. <laughs> like a brand new pair of Hey Dudes? Yeah. Just so everybody knows, Hey Dudes are probably the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. Yeah. They're the greatest ever. I probably have eight pairs of them somewhere there. <laughs> I was like, is there 15? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think 15. <laughs> Soon or, there will be. <laughs> listen, if there is, we're, I'm sticking with eight. Okay. <laughs>